Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a lovely Sunday. Now it's going to be a very busy day because we've got the podcast coming out later on. But I wanted to do a little crystal clear out and as well do a little bit of a popping of the Cavalier Objective Crystals and as well some of the rare two stars from the Senior Red Room Red Room Recruit Crystal. Bit of a mouthful. And I want to pick up some rare two stars because that's the main thing. Like I'm going to look at my red, um, all my two stars and see like which rarities I want to pick up more. Um... But yeah, first and foremost, let's pop open some Cavalier Objective Crystals, if I can speak properly, which I can't. First and foremost, ooh, ooh, that's a nice start. Look at that, 106 star shards and uh, some tier 2 alpha. Do I do like these crystals? I like opening them on like um, a big batch of them to see like what you can get from a good amount. So we've got 44, I think 44, yeah, to get. And there's some good stuff. There's some ISO there. And uh, tier 1 alpha, it's always helpful. 206 star shards, lovely. I'm not seeing any 5 star shards. I would love some 5 star shards. I wonder if they'll ever improve the um, the rarity of stuff that you get, like tier 5 uh, basic into this. Which I think is, would be apt and fair soon. So, not picking up the 5 star shards, but that's okay. Because like it's picking up a good amount of gold. Obviously these are for free, you know, that's, that's, the, that's the main thing. And with 4 more to go... What else can I pick up? Well, that's not really... It's not really 5 star shards, but it's fine. 106 star shards, I'll take all day long. That's like dupe... That's, well, it's nearly close to duping a 6 star. The ISO. Nice. Nice ISO. Tier, tier 4 class catalyst is not really... It's not really a thing for me. I'm getting too much of that now. And trying to prioritise spend of it is, a, is very important. Tier 1 alpha. Yeah, helpful. It means I'm not spending glory. It means I can reprioritise my glory. And, um, yeah, tier 4 basic. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'll get tier 4 basic all day long. That's easy to get. So, I mean, yeah, I'll take it. Like, how close am I to an... I'm, I'm way off getting a 6 star. And by the way, there could be some timeline discrepancies for me personally with what I'm putting out content-wise because um, I've got... Uh, because I've got to take some time off this weekend, uh, this video would probably be either out on Friday. So you've probably seen that. Uh, but it's also good to uh, prepare. Right, I'm going to open up some Grandmasters. Let's let's do that. Um, which is something I'm still waiting to hear back. Whether or not Kabam find uh, an opportunity to put this into the um, what is it called, the Arena Milestones, which I think would be fair. Uh, it takes away two stars from the factor of Prem crystals and Prem crystal shards, which are just pointless. As we pick up a load of three stars, and you might and we might say like, okay, well this is all pointless because theoretically it's like, well, it just saves me getting two stars as opposed to three stars if Kabam were to put this. In the milestones and obviously allows you to get things like uh, max signatures quicker which again helps towards like stacking of stuff uh, it's just a small little change but you know it would mean a lot i think to players just to have grandmasters even though and the light's gone out oh that's not good the light is back and now i can regain my train of thought like these rare two stars now for a lot of players they may go like oh two stars like what's the big whoop but the fact is these crystals are fun they're fun because you get some really kind of like obscure two stars and I do have an obscure two-star collection, which, I, you know, if, if things go very quiet with the game or like I've smashed out a lot of content, which I'm, I'm catching up with players. I'm catching up with the, uh, the top end. If I ever get fully caught up, maybe by the end of the year, I might do a special like two-star champion type uh, take on content and maybe have them as like highest rank possible. Mr. Fant Mr. Sinister is a champion I want as a five-star Awakened, but that's another story for another day. However, though, like, it would be interesting to kind of, like, take a few of these obscure champions about. And I would like to say that, you know, one day I'll get, like, a, an Aegon 2-star Awakened and see what content can be done. And also, um, it's Doctor Doom amongst here. Uh, there he is, Doctor Doom is a 2-star. That would be, um, that'd be nice, right? Let's get popping and see what we uh, pick up from these. Uh, this was several months ago, so this was April, I want to say. And hopefully I can get that. I don't know if I will. Uh, and what kind of champions are actually put in here will be interesting. Wow, look, wow, that's what I said about that. that is a, said, oh, Aegon, yeah, that'd be good to get Aegon. I can't believe that. Two star Aegon and a Nick Nick Fury there. Looks like Kabama put a lot of these champions into it. I don't know if it would be like a cool thing to have these in the Prems. I'm sure that there will be some that would say like yes, but I don't know if Kabama would be more inclined, inclined to say no. Uh, Doctor Doom is amongst them, so I just wanted to check as well. There's a lot of champions. That have been put into here. Hopefully some new ones now when I pop this. Hey, got that Doctor Doom 2 star. Nice. Nice. 
It's always good, always good to pick up uh, a rare Doctor Doom 2 star. It's part of like just rarity fun and collection. Which look, it's handy if you're collecting this now and about to do stuff like Variant 4. And I know that there are some people that still would, would like, like to see the likes of um, 1 stars be more available. Which I do agree with because it's like, who knew that two years ago by selling um, your 1 stars because you were like, well I don't need it and you didn't know better, that uh, that would be damning you for a very bumpy ride or kind of a, an unpleasant ride in Variant 1. But yeah... There we go. Picked up all the champions that I wanted to. Including Doctor Doom there. Yeah. I'll probably do, like I said, I'll probably do like a video at some point about this. But yeah, it's really cool to pick up a rare two-star Doctor Doom. Very, very nice. And uh, thanks very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button. Subscribe for more. See you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.